Welcome to the Queen's University course on Linear Data Analysis. I'm Dr. Randy Ellis and I'll be your instructor for this course this semester. Linear Data Analysis gets its name because it's, it's linear because we'll use linear algebra, which means vectors and matrices. It's data because we'll use data that are real and we'll also use test data to check our algorithms. Analysis means that we'll be looking for patterns in these data. And these are both existing patterns and predicted patterns. And to do this, we'll use a combination of mathematics and we'll also use MATLAB. So let's switch quickly to a MATLAB environment. Here I am in a MATLAB command window environment. I like being in a MATLAB environment. Sometimes reality is so confining. You know, when I'm in an environment like this, sometimes what I'll do is ask myself, what would Tony Stark do? Processing. All right, give me the eigenvalue of that particle factoring in spectral decomp. That'll take a second. Just a moment. And don't worry if it doesn't. I'm not Tony Stark, but I am able to share with you some of what I know about eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and the spectral decomposition. These will occur often in the course. Let's recall that if you have a matrix A, that an eigenvector is a special vector. And that means that when you multiply A by that special vector, what you get is you get that vector and then it's multiplied by a constant value, and that's the eigenvalue. One of the we won't work with the kind of matrices that Tony Stark works with, but one of the matrices that we can examine is the Hilbert matrix. This is named after the great mathematician David Hilbert, and it has a deceptively simple definition. Entry ij of the Hilbert matrix is just 1 over i plus j minus 1. And in MATLAB, we can compute that Hilbert matrix as A equals, and then there's a built-in function to compute it because this is such a common matrix in certain parts of mathematics. And MATLAB, by the way, started out as the matrix laboratory. So let's compute this, and what we see is that entry 1, 1 is 1 plus 1 minus 1, and that's 1 over that value, and then entry 1, 2 and entry 2, 1 are the same, and so on. And then in MATLAB, we can use a single s statement, just EIG of A, and that will compute the eigenvalues. And so using MATLAB, we're able to quickly create a matrix from a built-in function, and then we can use another built-in function to find the eigenvalues of that matrix. Here I am back in the studio. The next sessions for this uh, course will be, I'll go through the course organization in one session, and then I'll go through matrices and we'll look at the columns as being vectors themselves. So it will tie into this in a very close relationship. And then we'll go through what I call eigenfacts. This is a name that I made up, and it's going to be basic properties from prerequisite courses. So before we leave, let us recall that Queen's University is situated on the traditional lands of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe people. I like to reflect on my relationship with these lands and with these peoples. And wherever you are in the world, I encourage you too to engage in some reflection.